Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. And today I'm going to be talking about LEGO Fortnite. I think LEGO Fortnite is probably my favorite new mode that came out of this season. And there's only one big problem I have with it. And that is just trying to get around. But luckily, I found something out of a TikTok by the user named Quinn underscore random. That made a flying machine that is pretty simple. And you really don't have to waste that much. The only resource you're going to have to waste the most is your wood. So, it's not the hardest. So, let me talk about this first. This is the starting point of what you want to build. It takes a little bit to get it. Um, and there's some, like, a little bit of problems in there. But I'll talk about that when it's all done. So, the main thing you want to build is, like, a little column up, a dynamic a platform, four large thrusters. Make sure you place them somewhat evenly, or it's going to tilt a little too much on, depending on the side. And then the next thing you want to do is break the middle, middle structure. And it gets not hard from here. So all you have to do is just place one of these brown long things on top. The little pads. Make sure it covers the whole thing. That's the one you want. Then you're going to want to place down these longer little woods right here. The 416 by 2. All you want to do with these is just make sure you line them up onto the, each edge. And then just build one on each side. This is going to create a barrier. Or we're going to create a barrier right here. And that's because of one of the problems this thing has, is that it might shoot you off. So, make sure you have a glider on standby. But, other than that, it doesn't really do, doesn't really hurt us too much. And there you go, there you go. You want to make sure everything's even, because those little corner pieces are going to be the staple of how this thing works. This thing's going to let us turn where we want to go. It just, you got to make sure that it fits the right build. Now you want to place down just a just a simple 4x4 four four two, right in the middle of everything. I'm hoping that is the middle. Then you want to get your gates. The ones that I use are these ones. It's the same ones that he uses, so can't go wrong with them. Again, this is just to protect you just in case you do fall off. Because these large thrusters do send you a good mile. But you can also put large ones or small ones and it won't take you as far as fast. But it will... Um, make sure that you don't go flying. As in, like, sent off the thing. Then you want to put down a large one right there. Place down your little button. And then fly. And I think I built this one a little too to the side, too. I've been trying to find, I've been trying to make a good one to show off, like, the greats of it. The first one I made was super good, but I fucked up. I fucked up by not having a recording audio on, so... Oopsie daisy, but so the main way this works is that now with this finished All you're gonna do is place down a wooden block like that on one of the corners And it's gonna take you to that side. So you see you just put it this way. We're going this way um, I'll show you one of the problems with it. Hopefully it'll happen while I'm talking But this is it. This is all you have to do And if you ever just want to go a different direction, you obviously just put down the other block on the other side Say I want to go straight now. There you go. Equals out. And now we're going somewhat straight. And this is one of the problems. If you don't make it equal, you will probably fly to like the side like that. So I suggest if you're going to stand on here, which you probably are because this is your flying machine, make sure you stand right here where the balloons will save you. And again, if you have a glider, you could glide fast enough to the point where you can get back on there. This doesn't go anywhere up. It will get stuck at some point. So don't worry about it like going away. That's one of the problems. There you go. I'm glad that happened right now. It's that car plunk. For some reason, I don't know for why this machine is is like that. It goes car plunk, and what that does is that it usually shifts a block. But I'm not really seeing a shift in anywhere in this place. But huh, that's weird. But usually it shifts a block. Oh, I'm inside the floor, kind of. I think it. I think it popped up the main wood block. It's only visual, but it does tend to have glitches happen where you like phase through the floor. Let's see if it can happen now. Oh, it, it got close. They are real close. But you can phase through the floor, so you're going to want to glide it. But there are some more complex ones you can find on TikTok that don't probably have this problem. But this is a very simple one. Again, all you have to waste is wood. Oh, and there you go. I fell through. I don't know why. It's only with these ones, too. Like, I, I never had this in creative where I, like, just flown through, like, the side of a build and then I just phased out. But it's only been happening in creative. I could probably show my main one and that would probably be better. 
You want, yeah, let me go show you main one. My main one in my main game. But that one shows it off a lot better. But that's the way you build it. Let me show you mine, where I actually took time to make sure everything was placed right. Alright, here we are. In my survivor world, where I made my original one. And we'll, we'll show it off a lot better here. You can see one of these builds are super far off, and that's because of the kerplunking that happens. It sucks, but it, it does it sometimes. But So the way you bring it down, obviously, is that you just place down one of your wooden foundations, and you should bring it down. Pop this bad boy up. You see, this one also has a little bit of drift to it, but not as bad. Now, if we just place down our wooden supports right here, Make sure you just kind of line them up a little even. And we should be on our merry way. Then again, that happens, but not to the point where the creative one does. I don't know where the creative one does that. Oh, there's a kerplunking. And you can see it pops up the floor. It's, again, purely visual, but I find it very interesting that the game for some reason does this. And if you feel like you're going to actually fall off your thing, just repress the interact button. It should turn off the boosters, and you should be fine. You see my villages over there, so we'll just take off that corner piece and we will slightly glide over there. Again, just press interact and it should slow everything down. You do not want to use a pickaxe to break things now, even though it would be faster to do that. If you accidentally mine the wrong piece, uh, everything could just go bye bye, and that's not fun. So make sure you just use your hands. And then off right here, and we slowly fall down. So very, again, very simple. You just need wood. If you just make sure that everything you place isn't going to make it lopsided, it's a very simple and easy build. Like, it just won't, it doesn't even break when you fall because it falls down very, very slowly. Unless you hit, like, the side of a mountain, then it probably will break. But you can see my ladder up there. That was my OG one that I broke the bottoms off. And it flowed up, and that's kind of how far it goes. I don't know why that brick is still up there, though. But, yeah, I don't know really what to call it. Again, on TikTok, Quince underscore random talks about it. He shows you how to make it. Maybe a little better than me, but I want to make sure everybody knows this. I don't really seen any YouTube videos on it, at least unless I search it up. Again, there's more complex ones that don't res have to use wood and stuff like that. But if you want just a quick, simple one that can probably take you anywhere in the map that you want to be, it's a very simple and nice one. I know I've said simple at least 10 times in this fucking video, but it is. It truly is. It's very nice. Just make sure you have a glider with you, because if you don't, you might fall to your death. It depends on how the grip looking works. And if you make sure that if you keep everything centralized and it's not lopsided in any way, you shouldn't really have a problem with that. It's just when it grip plunks, it grip plunks. And you might break your ankles. But hopefully this video helps anybody that does want a faster way to get around places again it's probably my only critique with lego fortnite but that's it that's all you need to do it's very fast if you just know how to do it I made millions of those the last thing i do want to say though is that um uh winterfest is here so it's not in the same way as winterfest last year but we have winterfest presents so if you go to your quests and you go get a daily gift every day so Oh, and Rocket Racing is also fixed, so you can go get the girl now if you're in gold. That's it. So, enjoy your gifts. No longer the cabin, which sucks, but at least we're still getting free stuff. That's all I can ask for. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helps somebody. And hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Make every day a good day. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.